the show begins. Welcome back to another episode of Farina Only. We had a very successful previous episode. We got so many upgrades. We got our C3, and that's it. That's it pretty good. That's, that's many upgrades. Anyway, we're still on the hunt for Primo Gems. For, so firstly, we've got our Archon Quest rewards, which is rather nice. We'll grab those. Should be more than one. Yeah, awesome. Cool, couple of those. Also have the shop. The shop has reset, so something we haven't been able to do for a long time is, well, other, other than in the last episode, is buy a full shop reset. So we can grab this. I'll not be grabbing these ones, as mentioned last time. Not worth it, I don't think. We also have a bunch of achievements that we've finished. A whole load of them. Yeah, a load of leeway stuff, defeat child, defeat vortex, right passing, all that stuff. So we'll claim all these. Oh, wonderful sound. Leeway done as well. Well, a leeway quest done as well. We've actually gathered a fair few primos since the last episode. So we're at 1,200, and we now got seven pools as well. So we will definitely get on with those later in the episode, certainly. One thing I would like to check out is the Imaginarium Theatre. I know that at higher levels, you need like 12 characters, they have to be specific elements and all this sort of thing. I don't think I can get in with just Farina, but I gotta go and check just in case. It might be like the Spiral Abyss where you can do some of the lower floors with easier stuff, but I have a feeling that is not the case this time around. This might be completely locked off to us, but it's not the end of the world, even if it is. We might get a few primos just for doing the opening quest bit, though, so yeah, I'll just do that. Oh yeah, Kai's just over there. Well, we're not talking to him today, so let's go in now. I haven't even done this on my main account. Oh god, there's a lot of books here to grab. Go on, let's grab the books. Let's steal half of the library and then get on with the... Oh, look, no, still half the library and then get on with the, the quest. There's a whole bunch of other stuff we can do if we can't do this, so it's no big deal. Grab these, see if we can get another achievement. I thought Lisa would be more annoyed at us just nicking all these books and never giving them back, but I, I guess if the Traveller does it, she doesn't mind. I mean, we are her cutie after all. Almost missed two. Oh, I did think we might get one more achievement out of that. Cool. Right, let's see if we can actually do this. I expect not, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look good. This looks like we're not going to be able to do it, but... Okay, right. Let's just check if we can do this or not. Yeah, it's not possible. Six selectable characters. Not enough to start the challenge. It's kind of out of our abilities as a solo character playthrough. So, cool, that's fine. We have other stuff to do. First thing we're gonna do is a teapot to call home. I will zip through this quite quickly. We need this to be able to get the fishing quest, which allows us to start fishing, and then we need to catch the fish to get our weapon. So, this is how this starts. So, Madame Ping decides she wants to give us a gift, which is lovely. A gift? For Paimon? But she is running pretty low on some materials. Some of them are very rare indeed. So she introduces us to Yan Fei, and she has an idea of where we might actually get some. You mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Crossel's materials are the real deal. The Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine. And it'll cost him a bomb if he's lying. Ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false. It turns out he's lying. I saw the pair of fake hairpins. So we just take the materials. I'll turn this Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. Yanfei would rather engage with legalese than hang out with her grandmother. I'm leaving! I'm leaving! And we get our teapot. There we go. Right, grabbing that teapot now gives us access to the Exploding Population quest, which is our next job along the way to getting our weapon. So close, so close. Oh, we got to go and catch an ornamental fish. So we want to catch the jumpy fish. Oh, they're all jumpy fish. Okay, cool, fine. I just trying to rocket through this so that we can actually get to the fish we really want to catch for the weapon. So this is what we're after. Energy recharge as its secondary stat, and then elemental skill crit rate increased, and more energy recharge after using a skill. So pretty nice. And then of course we'll need all of the refinements for it as well. Four of these mechanical ones, and then I guess it's the bass that we're going to spend the most time getting. And then the streaming axe marlins, sure. I wonder what bait they need. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to catch some of those earlier ones. I'll go and get that now, and then we will come back and start working on these fish. Wow, 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 wow,
three days later. So yeah, after a bit of bad luck, we managed to get all of the fish we needed. So this one was a real pain because there's only one place you can get them. And there were five of them. You only need four of them. There were five on the day I did the fishing. But annoyingly, two of them ended up being the ornamental fish, which apparently is like a 6% chance. So we got two 6% chances and that cost me three days uh, of being able to use the new weapon. Anyway, we can now turn it in and it's fine. There we are. So you see, four of four, 10 of 10, 10 of 10, 12. 12 of 12, one new weapon. Uh, I'll collect the refinement material off screen. I won't make you watch another fishing episode. Real nice that we've now got the weapon available to us. And today is the domain for leveling it up. Let's see how much we can enhance it. We've probably got some materials from quests and events and other stuff. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, never mind. I assumed we'd have some. Okay, well, that lasted a little less time than I thought it would, but it's now time to do the weapon domain. I don't know how complicated this one's gonna be. Like, the talent material one is really bad for us, but maybe the weapon one's not as bad. So we'll find out. Hopefully it's not like a a five minute slog through every single one of these. Luckily, we've got condensed resin now, so it won't take us long regardless. All right, see so what we're running into. Five opponents, robots not so bad. I say that, it's beating me up, but... Oh, he's quick. Oh, and again. Oh, maybe it is dangerous. All right, I have to dodge that robot. He hits pretty hard. Decent amount of health, these guys. I think this thing's got a big chunk of health. Just waiting for the combo of the crab hitting after my cooldown's worn off, and then I use the skill, and then you get another instant crab attack. I'm already just taking a couple of minutes already. I hope the second wave isn't too bad. What do we got? Uh, oh, I don't like this dancey one. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Get the burst off. Oh. oh my god. He came out of nowhere. Oh god, I just want to level the weapon up. I mean, maybe I've just got to be I've got to be running away. I can't be getting into melee with these things. They're pretty nasty. But then I've got a time limit as well, so I can't just hang around forever. Right, get rid of the first one. Ow! 82 health! God! Oh, I have to get out of there without taking damage somehow. And then hit, hit, got hit anyway. I'm worried about this, this stealth guy. There he is. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, that's so much damage. I don't think I'd even made the, make the timer on it. I think I have to lower the difficulty on this. Like, I've got to do this today, because otherwise I've got to wait like three days. Well, the enemy's on the third difficulty. It's resin inefficient this way, but it's time inefficient if I do it the other way and I keep dying over and over, and then I might not even be able to make it anyway, just because of my damage. First here. Yeah, this one's much more doable, at least. Okay, not too bad. That's that's closer to the difficulty I'd be happy with. Just gonna quit quickly, because there's a chance we've got some of the blue ones, even though we didn't have any green ones. So I'm just gonna level the weapon now and just see. Four out of three, that's fine. Level that up. We have 46 out of three. We may not actually have to do this quite as much as I thought. It's just from, from events and so on. We just happen to have picked up a bunch. It's really nice. And yeah, we're not going to be leveling another weapon for a little while. And we're low on tainted water. So actually, maybe we're not going to spend that much time in this thing at all. Maybe we're going to spend all of our, our time like swimming and collecting stuff from those watery blob things. Let's see. How much of this can we craft? Tainted water. I think 10. We've got two of those. That actually might be our limiting factor here. It's enough to level once. Okay, 70. How far off are we? Miles. Although actually we've got decent numbers of these to convert. No character can help. 
Right, so I'd like to get this leveled, then head back in and collect more weapon materials. We're off to kill all the crabs. Yeah, treasure chest doesn't hurt, it hurt either. Right, collected a bunch of materials, let's see where we are at. Right, can we get it to 80? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So this is now going to be our highest level weapon. Very nice. And requires rank 50, which we can do, just not just yet. I think it's time we sorted out this Spiral Abyss thing. We can clear floor four. That first chamber, we're unlikely to get any stars on, but there's six more stars to be gotten here, and as long as it's not too tough, we should be all right. That's another 200 primos. Let's get this done. Not only that, we have our C3 now, so that might help a little bit. Yeah, as you guys pointed out, there is no second half, so I don't have to worry about taking down another, you know, load of these within the five minute timer. So let's just get it done. Hopefully we won't get frozen too much. I'll just have to keep an eye out for that shot every so often. Oh, oh. Alright, switch to healing for a moment. Okay, let's get rid of that guy now. There we are. There's nothing here that can be hit by Hydro damage, so I guess we're in full heal mode again. And now it's shield break time. Not looking forward to when there's two of these in a minute. I've continued to spam through trying to get a few more Primo gems, but priorities on getting the character up to scratch so we can increase the world level. Oh, it is only one more shield. Okay, we can do that in time just about, I think. Cool, right. We have minute 50. And blood done. Cool. Right, no stars, but all the masses is the other chambers, really. Burst damage, skill damage. Very nice. Fend the monument. Okay. Hydro slimes isn't a great start. Why is there so much hydro in this abyss? It's ridiculous. What if your favorite character is a hydro character? Oh, come on, another abyss mage, another hydro abyss mage. It's punishment for something. What did I do to Mahoyo years ago before, the, before this account even existed <laughs> that made them want to make this difficult for me right now? Oi, stop it in that. Got 8% left. There's two more enemies. We really need to hold on to that 8%. We're slowly pushing him around the entire edge of the arena. Right, another mage. Oh, we managed to get a shot off. We should be fine. Stay focused on me. We should be okay. Nice. Three stars there. One last chamber. Please don't be all Hydro Abyss Mages. Please. Okay, so we're going to have two minutes left. It's probably a five minute one. So we've got three minutes to do... To do something that isn't Hydro Mages. Or Hydro Slime. I love it so far. There's only three left. Oh, well, two left. Oh, for... Ah, come on! It's ridiculous. 
Can I get any kind of AOE going on them so I can take down both shields together? We do have two minutes to take down both. Things once that shield's gone, they just they they melt in like five seconds. Okay, we've got them against the wall. That will help a little bit. Oh, come on, get together, get together. We've got one minute. Kill this one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right, and this is, yeah, first off, second off. So we're done. This is as far as we can ever take the Spiral Abyss, other than getting that last 100 primos on the first chamber of floor four, which is going to be a struggle. We need to be pretty overpowered for that, but oh, we'll get there. Another 200 primos. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, so four, three. Is there any other experience thing that we can do? Like, I send three characters to phase one. We can do that and get 100 primos. That's easy enough. Who should we do? Do Chi Chi. Yeah, go on then. Ascend. We'll do Kachin. We'll just do our five stars. Why not? I could probably go along and get a load of stamp wishes by doing this for all of them. Right, so that's that done. Another 100 primos. How many characters can we take up to phase one now, though? We've got loads of experience books, so that's not a problem. Here's what we can do. See if we can get a 10 pull on the standard banner. Amber. Let's get Kaya done. Lovely Lisa. RC6 Noel. If I can be bothered to activate the, the constellations. We got more than enough experience bits to get to 90, so these wouldn't these would be wasted otherwise. Ah, we'll have to go there to sort that. We'll have to head to Winner Zoom and uh, sort Heizo out. Oh, this one we can go and get. Hang on, I'll go and get that one quickly. There's one. And one more. On here? There we go. Cool. Fremine. Cool, we can do that one too. Layla. Perfect. Rosaria. Diona. Ah, oh, we used our amber already. I'll have to go and get some. Ah, perfect. And four. Send him. Bido. Ah, another one we need. Okay, well, I know where we can get some of that. Yeah, there's a few hit. Oh, we get a couple from it as well. Bido. Razor next. Easy enough. Cave. Morning flower in the desert. Okay. There we are. That looks suspicious enough to be a morning flower. No other character needs it, so that will be good. Nice. Ole. Surely I've got Curly's. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ruka, Ruka, whatever, mushrooms. Ruka Devata mushrooms. There we go. There's the mushroom. Right, I need three of these. These ones are fairly rare. I'm glad I never had to like farm for cole on my main account. Single mushrooms, each one of these. I'm sure there's better places, but even so. Okay, you better appreciate this, cole We went out of our way for you. He's good. Nice. Nice and easy. Thank you, Jincho. Being very amenable there. Barbara, also. Garming, do I have to go to the new area? No, very nice. And Zhongling, are you the last one? Ooh, very good, got the chili already. Right, so the only one left is Paizo because we can't get to Inazuma. Well, we can get to Inazuma, I just haven't been there yet. So, right, claim. Very nice. Okay, how many was that? That might be close to 20 right 22 not bad okay well, let's just get those done we might end up with a five-star weapon who knows it probably still won't be better than the other one but even so five-star weapons a five-star weapon it would have to be a sword though so our chances are pretty low and yeah only a four-star in this one 
Wow. Such pulls. Ah, four star. Okay, well, I'll skip that. Oh, another Claymore. Lovely. Barbara! Very nice. Sure. <laughs> and nothing. Okay, cool. I said I'd do some more wishes today, and I will. Let's clear ourselves out. So first, let's grab the standard wish. Which is nothing. That's fine. And then we've actually got, like, 20 rolls or so. So let's see how we do. Go. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's four stars. So that doesn't really matter. Two more Rosaris. Three four stars. It's not so bad. We'll get an extra pull out of that. Ten more here. I think this puts us, like, 40 in. Four star again. It's the Diona. Right, goes the shop. Get ourselves a couple more of those. And we'll roll out the last of the episode. Full star. Coming. Two more rolls. And last roll of the episode. Well, you have to wait until the next episode to see if we can get close enough to get one more chance before Farina is off the banner again. We do have 11 days left, so by the time this is edited and then the final episode while Farina's going, I'll be able to do some more pulls, but that'll be it. So thank you for watching, everyone. We've got a big load of upgrades today. We can ascend after artifact farming, which will be the big thing next episode. So I hope you'll join me for that. We've got a lot of fragile resin and hopefully we'll also get a few more rolls and give it one last chance to get C4 before the end of the banner. So join me for that and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.